Good morning. How are you? It is Friday. That means it's Flower Friday. Some flower power coming to you for the uh, weekend. I have two cards today. So it's interesting. I was shuffling the deck this morning, um, asking for a card that would be the most beneficial for the collective. What do we need to know? Um, and I sometimes I'll ask for a card to fly out of the deck. Sometimes I'll just intuitively know where to um, draw one from the from the deck in some place. Sometimes I take one off the top. It just kind of depends. But I set the intention before um, I start shuffling or right at the beginning of the shuffle. And two cards came out today. So I think we need uh, a little uh, of two different flower power energies today. So. The first card is called the Bird's Foot Lotus. It's about contentment. That's the activation point, contentment. And the message is take charge. Do you have a tendency to worry? Bird's Foot Lotus gets to the root cause of these issues, helps us experience more ease, feel lighter and brighter. Rather than worrying, it helps us expect the best possible outcome. It dissolves worry, fear for the worst, and seriousness, which is kind of fun going into the weekend. We could all use a little more playfulness, a little less seriousness. It magnifies a happy and relaxed belly, lightness, cheerfulness, laughter, and ease. So if you look at this flower, I mean, you know, obviously you've got the green of the leaves, there's a little bit of green in the center, but then it's, you know, it's this really bright, vibrant yellow. and. You know, on, in the camera, it looks a little bit like orangey on the tips, but it's really, really just more of a, a, a deeper yellow. So it's a true yellow uh, flower. And yellow really re resonates with your solar plexus. This, you know, your part of your belly that's between like your chest, breastbone, and your belly button. It's all about empowerment and your power center. It sometimes can be that place in your stomach that like your gut instinct kicks in and it's, um, you know, it creates that, that flip floppy feeling. So it's allowing that, releasing that, dissolving that. That's what this flower is about. And then feeling a sense of contentment and taking charge. So pretty, pretty cool. The second flower for today is the rhododendron. This activates compassion and the message is be kind to yourself. Before I read about this, just look at this flower. It's almost like an explosion um, of, to me, it's, it's, it's an explosion of peace in a way. I, I know that might sound antithetical, but you've got you know, these beautiful whites and pinks that are, that are really soft. Um, you know, these, these are a little bit of like a darker brown color maybe like a really dark mustard perhaps, you know, so it's like sprinkling in a little bit of goodness into your life, not being so um, hard on yourself. It's just like showering yourself, like any, like a, a firework where the, the, um, the spark, sparks fall down, like just showering yourself with compassion and love and kindness. Okay. Is it time to practice compassion, especially with yourself? The quality of the rhododendron flower is like being inside a big soft pink cloud of love and comfort. It strengthen, strengthens all kinds of relationships, helps us feel included, valued, and loved. It dissolves feeling cold, alone, out of place, or vulnerable. It dissolves jealousy, insecurity, and despair. It dissolves the fear of misunderstanding or betrayal. It magnifies understanding, compassion, empathy, motherly love, comfort, warmth, and protection, steadiness, and equanimity. So if you put these two flowers together, they're, you know, it's, it's like they're both soft yet strong. At least that's the sense I'm getting. So even if you are not able to find bird foot lotus or rhododendrons in your world, you know, you could screenshot these and remind yourself to, you know, um, take charge, feel content, take charge to activate compassion but be kind to yourself and you know it's really a beautiful time especially coming into a weekend to really listen tune in I talk about this all the time and I'm like a broken record I know tune in to that like inner part of yourself that is looking for maybe a little bit of motherly love or nurturing 
maybe there is some sort of place in your life that needs you to take charge in a new way. So if you're able to get quiet, be kind to yourself, mother yourself in a way that you don't normally mother yourself, see where in your life something maybe needs to shift or change a little bit, or maybe it's taking charge on behalf of someone else, whatever it might be, um, you have these two flowers, the energies of these two flowers to support you uh, in the weekend and week ahead. So, uh, you know, Lotus Way Flower Evolution decks where I get these, these cards from every Friday, uh, please go check out their flower elixirs. They're extremely supportive. I love them. They also have mist. They have um, bath salts and uh, drops, uh, serum type drops uh, that you can put on directly on your skin. Sometimes you mix them with a carrier oil. Really powerful, really potent, really transformative. Um, cannot say enough about this company. And uh, that's it for today. I will see you back here on Monday. So please remember, we learn from one another. Share if you feel called to do so. I will see you here Monday. Bye for now.